It's DLC time, baby. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the DLC team, where they're at, how the builds are doing, and what the idea behind the builds is. So to begin, we have Tamara, who is running Strength and Dex plus four. Now, if I want to get her Strength and Dex plus five, it's going to cost me like a few thousand SP, so probably not really worth it. Uh, she's also on Star Sphere to give her increased growths and everything, so more Dex, more Strength, more Defense, Speed Build, and so on. Uh, she does get the Charm passive, which allows you know chain attacks from other units to be more accurate. The surprise attack thing is somewhat interesting. There's some instances where you can attack things from the woods or whatever, uh, but that's not really why I'm using it. I'm really, honestly, I'm really just using Chrome for stat fixing. He gives strength, dex plus, and speed plus. So he fixes all of the things she generally wants, except for defense, which scales her sandstorm damage, but it just makes her average damage more consistent. She's also on Micaiah so that she can kind of dodge tank while attacking. So if she goes and attacks this mage, she's 110 avoid right now. He has a pretty low chance of counterattacking, like of even hitting me. So I'm basically just relying on that. Now, if she does roll like a crit or a sandstorm, it's bonus damage. And you know, that's standard Tamara stuff. Right now, Gold Mary is on Tiki. She is, I just got her, uh, the previous chapter. Well, actually that's not true. I did chapter 17. So I've had her for like two chapters. And ultimately I want to make her an off tank. So she is getting the Star Sphere from Tiki herself. Originally, Chloe was using Tiki, but I got Erica. So now Chloe has like crazy damage. Or at least she will once her bond level gets up. Uh, but right now, she can deal pretty good damage to most things that she doubles. She barely doesn't double this enemy, otherwise she'd be hitting much harder. She also needs Lance Power up, but she probably doesn't need Erica long term because Erica fixes damage and once she has Lance Power 5, she should be fine and I can put her on something else. But for now, she's on Erica for damage fixing, even though it's questionable if she needs it. She's also already fast, so if with a few more level ups, she should be pretty crazy. And then Anna is on Camilla just for the speed fixing. You also get a little bit of bulk, which is nice. Uh, Camilla, outside of the speed, is just kind of bad. She's on Sword Power and Star Sphere so that she can get, you know, this crazy stat growth to give her some build to offset the weight of the Love and Sword. She has had like one or two build level ups as a result of Star Sphere, but you also get more speed, more magic. So it basically makes every one of her level ups give her speed, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Uh, but really, Star Sphere is like the king, the king, the star of the show. Uh, we also have Marin on Star Sphere. She's running speed, dex plus three. I would just run speed plus three, but because I banned land, I'm not allowed to in this run. Uh, the quick repost situationally happens, not very often. Adaptabilities, whatever. Heavy attack, I'm not really making use of here. Piercing glares, whatever. Uh, impenetrable is okay when engaged. Storm's eyes, whatever. Uh, honestly, I'd rather her have Ike, <laughs> but. You know, I banned Ike. You do get strength, defense, and build plus on Hector, so it's kind of similar to Ike. Ike doesn't give build, but he gives strength, defense, and I think health. So pretty good. She can pop to, you know, mitigate damage. So when she attacks, she takes 26 here. Versus... Oh wait, does it not calculate it? Hold up. Should work. Oh, and foe initiates. Oh, that's even worse than Ike. Because result when a resolve triggers, it always works. I didn't even realize this is only on enemy phase. Wow, that's terrible. I mean, it still is helpful for enemy phasing, but Jesus, man. Let Hector be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, on Alir, we have standard Edelgard. Uh, I just went for speed plus, just a double. Star Sphere. Now, Star Sphere gets dropped probably like chapter 21, 22. I would say we switch over to a different passive. When engaged, you get the weapon sync. It does tell you what weapon the emblem uses, uh, but when, you know, plus seven damage is enough to kill, you use your Houses Unite combo. I banned Byleth, so I can't use the Houses Unite Plus combo, where you basically get to Raging Storm, Houses Unite Plus, and then, you know, destroy the enemies. You do get damage increase from being on Dragon, which is nice. So plus 10% damage on Combat Arts and on Houses Unite. Uh, lineage is... Kind of neat, it slightly levels you up faster. The way that leveling works in this game is you get less XP the higher level you are. So eventually it starts capping out and not mattering, but it does get you there faster, at the very least. Uh, there's different gambits, obviously. But basically she just goes for a Raging Storm and then a Houses Unite. Burns through the emblem as fast as humanly possible, just to get it again. 
Now, the nice thing about this is if you have a Byleth unit, you can burn through all of the emblems. So when you engage, you get four turns. When you use Raging Storm, you lose three. So what you can do is Raging Storm, Hazard's Unite Plus next to Byleth, and then use like Atrocity. So that way you burn the remaining turns. So you immediately lose the emblem so you can build it up again. You can essentially get like three kills. So it's pretty crazy. You get, you'll get like two to three kills depending on if Raging Storm kills or not. Uh, she should have a Brave Sword with like Tiki on it or something just to rebuild this faster. That's probably what she's going to get long term. Uh, I just don't have it yet because of resources, but that would make the most sense. That way you can build up your emblem fast, go for kills again. Uh, Ivy is just kind of filler. She's just chilling out with like nothing on, <laughs> nothing on, with no passives really. Uh, but that's the team so far. Uh, in terms of like effectiveness, it's about as good as like your normal team might, might be. Maybe a little bit worse. Some builds are definitely not as optimal. Like Tamara on Erica with speed plus five is way better than this. And Chloe on Erica is fine, but if she was on something else, I feel like she'd be okay as well. Um, now that I have Sigurd back, I could get her Lance Power three, put her on Sigurd herself, get her build plus so that she has weightless weapons. Uh, because right now she has, this is basically weightless. It slows her down by I think one. Or no, it doesn't slow down at all. So this is all right. So the this, this Steel Lance plus five is weightless for her right now. Uh, now you can get this like you can make this just by getting Brody F four early. You get a bunch of iron and steel, so that helps you forge things like this. Uh, but that's it for this one. I just wanted to go over the team, um, where they're at, how effective they are. Gold Mary is a work in progress. Um, Ivy, I will probably give something to her. I've just been kind of using her. Like I literally haven't invested anything in her. She just has like basic stuff. <laughs> And she, the funny thing is, is she still puts in work. She can still... She can't double that, but... When she doubles, she usually kills, so... Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.